What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Espresso, and I'm here today again with some Call of Duty Ghost information, and today we're actually going to clear up something that I reported on uh, a couple days ago, but actually has since been proven false, and then also that something that I think is going to happen in the near future here regarding Call of Duty Ghosts. Now we all remember the story regarding Yarn Levy, the 3D modelist who worked previously with games like Hawking and Modern Warfare 3, and we all thought that the guns on his actual site were going to be some M4s from Call of Duty Ghosts, but that has not been the case and it has been proven false and he's actually put up that it is not a part of Call of Duty Ghosts. And this actually makes full complete sense because if it was, then he legally would be in a lot of trouble because there are a lot of NDAs, which if you guys don't know what that is, it is a non-disclosure agreement that would have to be met by both parties. But we can get rid of the idea that he's not having anything to do on it because Ali A had a conversation with him actually and he is being hired by Infinity Ward to do some sort of work on the modeling for Call of Duty Ghosts. I have full confidence in the guy as well because from the high-res images that you saw of the guns, they look damn good. And the fact the Xbox 720 or the Xbox Infinity is going to have the next generation of graphics well that gives me a lot of hope in the fact that these graphics are going to be standard they're gonna be something that we're gonna see a lot of in a high resolution image now the second point that I want to talk about just very quickly is the fact that Call of Duty at their Activision highlights conference um, pretty much said in general that Call of Duty Ghost is going to be the most marketed and most anticipated game they have ever put out. They're running their wallets dry with this one in terms of sales and marketing, but to me, this seems like, are we going to see a lot more? Because realistically, there's not been much other than a few drops here and there of leaked information. And the reveal itself, well, that wasn't anything too spectacular. It was cool, yes, but it didn't really show anything other than the significance of the name Ghost. So this leads me to believe, starting maybe with the Xbox 720 Infinity uh, reveal on the 21st, that we're going to see a hell of a lot of information and a hell of a lot of stuff being thrown at us, the consumer, in order to pump us up for this game because they are toting this as the halo proverbial halo of xbox 720 or xbox infinity whatever it's called they're going to be making this the flagship game in my opinion and they are doing whatever means necessary to get all that to you guys in the most proper manner and to pump you guys up enough to be like i need to get this game so to me i would just say keep your eyes open here in the next couple weeks for stuff that you're going to be seeing all over the market regarding call of duty ghost this is just the beginning and if you think you've been swamped on youtube and all kinds of advertisements for call of duty ghosts now well you might want to stay off the internet for the next couple months because this is going to be big but that has been my time ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching i would love to hear your thoughts on these two subjects um if you want to leave a comment down below that'd be greatly appreciated any shares to your facebook twitter and or myspace if you are an og like that are greatly appreciated as always be sure to stay tuned for any more call of duty ghost information i'm going to be bringing you guys the best and the newest of call of duty ghost information as soon as it comes to me so stay tuned for that be sure to subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching once again i've been equal espresso i hope you are having a great day and i shall see you guys later peace